What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon. And today I'm gonna do a little different video. I am going to talk about why it is important to have sharp blades in situations where you can get away with not having sharp blades. And I know you're like, oh my God, Seth, you're actually gonna tell us that it's okay to use double blades? Eh, sometimes. <laughs> Cause you already know what time it is? <sighs> Tipsy talk. All right, people, as you see, I'm trying to do a little different Tipsy talk this week. Back to the original. Well, I wouldn't say original because I used to do it in my shed, but <laughs> I'm back to the normal tipsy talking. Today, I'm going to talk about sharp blades. In this particular video, I was about to go out and cut. As you can see, it was sunny, but it actually rained all night <laughs> the night before. Um, so I was getting, I just finished putting some new blades on my trailer. Still need to fix my trailer, as you can see. I haven't fixed it. Um, I needed to get my Mustang off of my trailer. I needed to get this random <laughs> um, roll of fence off of my uh, trailer. I got that from one of my customers. Um, the first yard y'all going to see is the yard I've had for years, minimum at least like four years maybe more and this particular yard has always been treated it was one of the catalysts of me getting my time master and my Toro T bar um, this particular yard type of grass you have to have sharp blades you have to have and, and it's not because oh you want to look nice this yard because it's treated it grows so fast it grows so thick and if you don't have a mower with sharp blades and decent power it's gonna it's gonna clog up and it's gonna make a mess it, it, I mean it, even like my t-bar it's not gonna clog up but it's gonna make a mess my T-Bar has such a good vacuum. I want to make a video on uh, mulching kits versus side discharge because I don't think people really grasp the understanding of a mulching kit and how important that is in this business. Uh, a lot of people just get grass flaps. <laughs> but uh, let me go ahead and show y'all a little bit of this video. Um, this is the before I am um, like I said I cut I'm gonna cut this yard literally like a hundred times literally a hundred times I could cut this yard with almost with my eyes closed and like I, at the beginning I showed you my my gravely I'm gonna cut the backyard with my gravely and that's why this video about sharp blades is so important because this is the backyard is thick as well and so i always cut front yard with my t-bar and i cut the backyard with my gravely so here you go boom um this is the end result it, the front yard it always makes me look good it makes me look like i'm a professional or something <laughs> but uh yeah the front yard always looks good but what i really want to show you is the backyard um, when you have sharp blades, it makes your job so much easier. It makes you look like a professional. Um, this backyard, it always comes out great because I always make sure I have sharp blades before I go out here. Now, I will admit, when I first started my business, I didn't always sharpen my blades. Like, literally, I would sharpen my blades like once maybe twice a season 
on my riding more my uh um time master i was shopping those place all the time but my riding more was just like whatever but it just didn't leave as, as fine of a cut and now that i realize that and i told you i will let y'all know where you can get away with dull blades now if you have a particular yard that is just weeds it don't really matter <laughs> I've had days where I'm like man I need to sharpen my blades and I look at my schedule and I'm like oh 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 you know I mean all these yards is just yards full of weeds so I'm like you know what I could wait a day or two I could get away with it but like weedy yards it don't really matter it, I mean Theoretically, you, if your blades were sharp, it'd make your job easier because you wouldn't have to go over it two times or whatever. But you can cut a weedy yard, go over it twice with dull blades. It don't really matter. It's weeds. But the thing about nice grass like these, this yard I'm showing you and the one I'm going to show you is <clears throat> if the blade is not sharp, and it's a dull when you cut it it's going to start to brown the tip of the grass and it's going to look crazy i mean it, it, typically if it's nice and striped you can't really tell but if you go down and look if you got a microscope or something <laughs> and you're looking at each piece of grass you can see this little brown tip on it because the grass is being ripped with a dull blade versus being sliced with a sharp blade. And so, you know, a lot of people don't really care about that difference, but some customers might, you know, and it makes it might make a difference of you um, keeping that customer and whatnot. This next yard I'm gonna show you is another long time yard. Um, I love this yard, always makes me look good. It's on a nice little slant or gray. Um, of course, I use my T-bar, my Toro T-bar 36 inch floating deck. Um, man, I love that more. It, it just makes my job so easy. And um, I forget how many inches I cut this yard at, but yeah this this particular customer is actually about to move and they want me to treat their new yard so i'll get to get a new project going so that's exciting but um yeah this is why do you need sharp blades so why do you need sharp blades it's just Theoretically, it makes your job easier. Can you cut a yarn with dull blades? Yes, I used to be that guy. Like I said, I used to sharpen my blades or get new blades. I, at first, when I first started my season, I didn't even have the tools to sharpen blades. I, I would just buy new blades. And because I was just buying it, I would do it like maybe once or twice a season. And you have to be mindful that I was part-time with like seven to ten yards <laughs> so I'm literally like a, a, a professional residential guy you know what I mean I'm not really commercial but I'm not really residential I was kind of like in between so I really didn't need to show my place as much but I probably should have it probably would have made my job a lot easier um, now I probably sharpen my blades every like three weeks. If I go a month, that's stretching it. But uh, I, I sharpen my T-bar blade. I went to change out my T-bar blades after like two weeks. And I was like, oh man, these things still sharp. <laughs> the old ones. So I was like, maybe I'm getting a little OCD or something, you know? So uh, I'm trying to push it to at least three, three months, cause a month three weeks to a month maybe maybe i'm just that good at sharpening blades but um 
make sure you have sharp blades, people. Uh, got a couple new projects coming up. Of course, I'm gonna be posting random videos as usual. But I wanted to do this new style tip to tell let me know if y'all like this style or if y'all just want me to ramble on like I usually do. <laughs> Anywho, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, stay tuned. Yes, sir.